The dramatic story of a movie star's battle to stay with his wife in Canada is coming to a happy ending, if an undramatic one. For months, Randy Quaid and his wife Evie have kept celebrity watchers watching as they turned up in B.C., filing for refugee status and then leading a media circus wherever they went, including Vancouver Island. But now the circus, it seems, will stay in town because the Quaids will be allowed to stay. Shachi Curl reports. We could never have envisioned how things would unfold and how our lives would change. Neither could we. When Randy Quaid and his wife Evie were first arrested in Vancouver last October, the actor, known for his comedic and dramatic roles, found himself playing at something part mystery, part tragedy, and all reality. The Quaids claimed refugee status, saying they feared for their lives. I am being embezzled from by this monstrous ring of accountants, estate planners, and lawyers who are mercilessly slandering me and trying to kill my career, and I believe murder me. And who was behind this murderous plot? Hollywood star whackers. The same star whackers the Quaids claimed who were responsible for the deaths of other actors. Star whackers like that, is because Hollywood is murdering its movie stars for, uh, for ad sales. Evie even hired a private investigator to prove it. The PI got a restraining order against Evie. She's mentally ill. She's also a Canadian citizen. Her father was born in Canada, and Evie got her papers earlier this month. She'll now sponsor husband Randy to stay here, too. CBSA has dropped its case against the couple. It's likely the Quades will drop their refugee claim. How does it feel to be Canadian? Great. Oh, unbelievable. I think I always knew I was. I, I think I think I'm a natural. But how much of the hype was natural? At times it seemed more like performance. Remember when they picked up their dog from the pound? Our little doji, our little poopy pie pumpkin. Or the Vanity Fair spread shot in Parksville at the Tynamara Resort. The Quades now say they plan to live and work in this country, and they're grateful. Today we're here to say thank you, Canada. Thank you for your warm welcome. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to live in peace. But don't roll credits just yet. The end of the Quaid story is far from written. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.